Hi beautiful, today is finally the day I bring you my very own color line, X Mondo Color. We're gonna have so much fun with this. I really want this to be a fun, energized, young, punky color line where you can just be yourself fully and embrace who you are. Today was the X Mondo color shoot. We had an amazing time. We had amazing models, amazing hair. Oh my God, those colors just popped on camera like I wanted them to. And we're really trying to get across that Brooklyn grunge feel, that very like, I'm too cool for school type of vibe. And I think we did just that. And I'm so excited for everybody to see the pictures. I mean, it was incredible. We have so many amazing hair colors going on today. We have blue, purple, pink. It's incredible. I cannot wait for you guys to see what we've been working on. Oh my God, this color is just the best thing you'll ever use for your hair. It repairs your hair. It makes it so damn shiny. It brings it back to health while you color it. And that was the most important thing for me when I created this color. So I hope you guys love it. So that was a little bit from the shoot day of X Mondo Color, our very first campaign shoot for my brand new portion of my hair care brand, uh, X Mondo. These are the colors. Ooh. I can't believe we've gotten this far, guys. Thank you for helping me get here and all your support over the years. We have super blue, super pink, and super purple. Let's look inside real quick. Uh, damn! Look at how vibrant that is, guys. You're gonna get extreme color payoff with these colors, and that is the purple. I'm also obsessed with how our packaging came out. This was a concept I had in my brain for a while to do these Deboss Xs. They feel so beautiful. They look so beautiful and you can see yourself. Of course, being a narcissist, I needed that. As you guys know, I've been a colorist for many years. I've seen so many people online botch their hair. I wanted to create a color line that took my knowledge professionally and combined it with everything I've learned from you guys. So I wanted to create something that would repair your hair as well as color it at the same time. That was the most important thing when creating this color line and that is exactly what we did. We combined ingredients like Bond Builders, very luxurious oils, and we packed it with protein. Of course, vibrant as f color, everything you could possibly want. Last but not least, we put glitter. Um, it'll be all over your bathtub. I'm sorry, it's like a little glitter bomb type of vibe, but um, it's a lot of fun and I needed to put something extra in there because that's who I am. And I want you to feel like I am there with you whenever you color your hair. But we'll get more into my color line when I answer all your questions you guys text me with. If you guys don't already have my number, here it is. Please text me, it is really my number. And yes, I really do reply to some of your messages. So I asked you guys to ask questions about the line, things you've been wondering about or curious about, and I'll be answering them today. But besides that, I will be coloring my my hair. Finally, this color line was supposed to come out a few months ago, but due to COVID, you know, things got pushed back. I have been waiting to color my hair for this very moment to use my own color on my own head. So I'm thinking I want blue hair today. So we'll be using super blue. We're gonna boil the shit out of my hair, make it really, really light blonde, and then put the blue over it. And it should be a really fun transformation. I finally get to color my hair. With my own color line. What? That's wild. Is this real life? Hmm, are we living in a simulation? So let's bring in Miss Cassidy and let's begin my color process. I hate getting my hair colored, so this should be fun. I don't like sitting here. It's too long for me. I, I just, just want to get up the entire time. Okay, let's do it. Welcome, Cassidy. Hi. So we're using 20 volume by Guy Tang and Magnum 8 to lighten my hair today. And of course we have these fabulous pink foils. We're probably gonna foil every single piece of my hair and just kind of feather it to the root with the lightener. So you're gonna still have the blue on the side, but I'm not gonna actually color the sides with bleach beforehand. So you'll see the difference of putting it on your existing color rather than bleaching it first. Um, you can do both. You don't have to have platinum blonde hair in order to use my color. It will not be as vibrant, but it will still show up. So let's begin foiling and then we'll answer some questions and get more into X Mondo color. I'm taking like a very fine section here. Are we done yet? No, not even close. 
don't know how much you guys know about Cassidy already, but we worked together as assistants actually at a salon for a long time um, and then became stylists at that salon. Both of us did color only. So we both pretty much have the same background. Cassidy now works for Ex Mondo and she does product development for both the hair care side and the color side. So her and I actually collaborated on a lot of the products you guys see now and especially the color line. You know, she had a lot of input for that and we both created our dream color. Over the years, I think we've both seen a lot of bleach damage on clients. And every time we wanted to use like a bond building treatment on a client, it was like multiple steps and there was just so much work. And as much as we loved it, I didn't want to take the extra step a lot of the time. So with my color, you're getting a high impact, bright, vibrant color while rebuilding the hair all in one step for that 20 minute treatment period that it takes for this color to process. Not only is the color attaching to your hair, but it's actually going inside the cortex of your hair and rebuilding your bonds. That means you're gonna have healthier, re-strengthened hair fibers post coloring. So that was the coolest part for us. It was not easy to find, for Cassidy to find a bond builder that was vegan. She did, and so we're really happy about that. Took a lot of searching. This product is vegan, cruelty free, sulfate free, paraben free, gluten free. And on the bottle, this actually says it is a hair healing color. So we don't like to call it something permanent, permanent, semi-permanent, whatever. If you want to get technical, yes, it is semi-permanent, but it is more than that. It is hair healing color. Think of it like a treatment instead of it being like a semi-permanent color because a lot of semi-permanent colors do not have additives like bond builders, oils, and proteins like we do. You're getting a lot more than just a semi-permanent color with our color line, and that is the coolest part of all. And of course, we colored Cassidy's hair using X Mondo color. She is wearing super pink, and we did a little Charlie D'Amelio Brad Mondo special on her. This is how I did Charlie's hair. And if you guys wanna see how I did Cassidy's color step by step, you can head to X Mondo Color on Instagram and the video is there. How's it going, Cass? It's good, we're almost done with the back. Very God. tedious here. Oh well, I have to color every inch of your hair. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. So like I said in the intro, I have questions for you guys that you want answered about X Mondo Color, so we're gonna get to it. Michael says, is your color a beeswax base, petroleum jelly base, or other base? And is it safe for under heat use? It is actually aloe vera based. Aloe vera juice is very hydrating for the hair. Yes. So we wanted to use that as a base versus like beeswax, which could create some buildup and like leave a bit of a film on the hair. And aloe vera is amazing for the scalp. So you're gonna get a nice scalp treatment in there with it. Can you use it under heat? You do not need to. If you end up in the sun with it on, I'm sure it'll be fine. Mackenzie says, do you suggest bleaching your hair before dyeing it? Or could you dye it on virgin hair? If you would go to our website, we actually have swatches that show you what the color will look like on each different hair color up to a level six. It will not be as vibrant as as what you're gonna see today or on Cassidy's hair. It'll definitely depend on what your starting level is to understand what the vibrancy will be as a result of you using the color. But they're all very cool and very fun and the color washes out so you don't have to commit to anything for too long. You do not have to bleach your hair to use my color. Catherine says, how often do you recommend reapplying semi-permanent color? Um, it's different for everybody based on the porosity of your hair. If your hair is healthier, sometimes it doesn't last as long because it has nothing to latch onto. Sometimes if it's more damaged, it latches on for a lot longer. Color is very much not a, this is exactly what's gonna happen to your hair and this is how it happens for everybody. It happens different for every single person. You can reapply it whenever it fades out. That may be after, you know, five washes. That may be after 10 or up to 20 washes. So it's different. Emily says, okay, which was the most difficult pigment to get right? And which pigment are you most proud of? Blue, I think the blue, we, yeah, we the didn't blue. like the tones. It was like more of a turquoise at one point and then we were we're like aiming for more of like a solid blue, blue, intense blue. And the blue getting to stay was yeah. a little bit trickier. The one I'm most proud of, I mean, I'm very much proud of all of them, but I think the pink is most iconic to me and you guys associate me a lot with pink. So I think that one. Kennedy says, what was your inspiration for this line? I was inspired by many things from my career as a hairdresser using so many different color lines that didn't have bond building properties to them, that you had to do extra steps, colors that I used that weren't vibrant at all or washed out after one wash. There was just so many different things that I wanted to make better about hair color. And so I took this opportunity to do that. I also wanted to make something that would be user friendly and just super simple for anybody at home to do on their own hair. 
back of my hair, it's done, you guys. Has to just finished it, and now we're gonna move on to the front. Do the same thing over and over and over again. My life's a mess, guys. Yeah, this is really a difficult foiling job. We are done with the foils. As you can see, Cassidy got a little sloppy. It's really hard to do it when you're like locked yeah, in. Yeah, I was kind of all over the place, playing for my dog, like having meetings during the whole thing. Don't blame her. We already rinsed at the back. As you can see, it's really, really white, and I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna let this process for probably like 25 minutes. Then we're gonna rinse it off, and we'll be back to apply super blue. Why do I kind of like it though? That's the issue. Like I look like a kid in um, high school that literally used actual bleach to color their hair <laughs> and then just like left it like that. And it's like makes me kind of look like a dirty like skater boy and I kind of like it. Um, okay, so now we're going in with super blue. And as you can see, we got those beautiful roots like I wanted. So let's do a cast. Let's, let's begin applying and let's answer a few more questions. Next question is by Sylvia and it says, how do your colors work on gray hair? Gray hair tends to be more resistant than bleached or natural hair. The reason this works well on blonde hair is because your cuticles are already open and the color can go into it and kind of lock in there. Gray hair, if it's resistant, the cuticle is really closed. So we'll stain it. However, it might fade or rinse out more quickly than if you had lightened hair. Next question is by Summer. Can the colors be mixed to achieve personalized color? Yes, of course. Of course. You can mix. Be you as can creative as you want. Do all sorts of I don't care, have fun with it. So I'm just doing a small section here and then I'm combing it through just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And guys, you can see that Cassidy is using the color straight out of the tub. That is exactly why I created this product in a tub. I hate dirtying up bowls. You can also use your hands with this. Still, please section out your hair. That would really help um, make it perfect and even. We also made it really simple to tell which color it is. You have the color right here, you have the color right there. It's all around the entire product. There's no like searching in your drawers because that happened to me so many times with other brands where I'm like, where is the blue I can't find? It. I used to actually write like B on the top so I knew it was blue. You have everything in the same color that the product is inside. Charlotte asks, is it okay to leave your hair dye on for hours at a time and is it conditioning? Yes, Charlotte, you can honestly leave it on for as long as you want. Your hair is never gonna fall off or nothing's gonna happen. You just only need to leave it on for 20 minutes. And is it conditioning? Oh my God, it is a heavy conditioner, guys. Your hair is gonna feel so silky smooth after. Next question is by Nick. What was the creation process? I want the whole story on how these products came to be. We started probably a year ago and that all starts with finding a place that makes color. Find somebody that you trust to do your colors was definitely something that we worked a lot on. Then once we found our lab to do them, we gave them kind of benchmarks of how we want the product to be, feel, smell, how we want it to look, all that good stuff. So that's the really exciting part for me. And I kind of just gave them all my dreams, hopes, and ideas. From there on, it's just kind of samples after sample after sample. And we just keep testing products for, I mean, it was probably six months. Once we landed on the formula, we then began producing these caps, sent, you know, renderings of what we want the bottle to look like. And there's so many steps, so guys. Many I, steps. I, that's, this is probably only a quarter of what we really did. We write the labels, the back of the labels, the front, what we want the color to be called, how this is gonna work out in the future with the naming system. Once we have all that done, everything comes together in the lab. They package everything together and you get this component here. Beautiful, fabulous, pigmented color. It's a little harder than that, but I'll keep it there. Beverly asks, what sets your hair dye apart from the rest? Let me just tell you, it smells incredible. I don't know why that's the first thing that comes to my mind, but I've used really so many does. different color lines that just smell like color. And apparently you don't need to make them smell like color, which I found out when I was formulating my own color. I'm like, how good can we make this smell? And they're like, as good as you want. And I was like, really? Because because everybody else's color smells like so I made mine sound really good. Uh, we actually use the same signature sound we use on our hair care products into our hair color products. You guys smelled that before? It smells the same. It smells incredible, amazing. I'm like, I could eat it right now. <laughs> it doesn't have that hair color-y smell no. at all. Beyond that, it's very hard to find a color line that has proteins in combination with amazing pigments and bond building additives into the product. It's not easy to find, and we've done that for you guys, so you don't have to buy extra steps to do after your color treatment. It's all in one. We created a great formula that is creamy, 
but not too creamy that it'll all stick in one place and get clumpy like peanut butter. It is liquidy enough that it'll distribute nicely throughout your entire head. Yeah, like I could easily apply this with my hands right now and it wouldn't be like an issue. And I mean, what other color line has glitter in their hair color? There you go, that's what sets X Mono Color apart. Katya asks, is there a certain way to apply it? And how many colors are you planning on doing? I like to apply to the roots and mids first and get it all in there. I take the comb and I comb through the rest of the hair. That way the ends are just a tad bit lighter when you're done. The majority of the product is sitting at your roots and mids because that is the best looking way of coloring your hair with a semi-permanent color like this in my opinion. So like you can see, I'm kind of leaving these little bits out. The sides, especially since they're short, can be a little bit stubborn. Um, so you really want to make sure you're kind of like going in different directions to make sure you're fully covering them. So I kind of like to like go side to side a little bit. And as you can see guys, we are coloring over my natural hair color right here. This is the most important part. I'm gonna look as cool as you now, guys. I know. And just so you guys know, Cast used about a third of this container to do my color. Um, and she quite heavily laid on the color, so. <laughs> You do not have to use this much. Okay, Cassidy has completed the blue application process. Super easy, super fast. Just wanna to touch on a couple more things. This retails for $28. It is enough for, I'd say, pretty much everybody's hair. And now I will let this sit for 20 minutes. And then I will see you guys for the finished result after I've cut and styled my hair. I'll see you then. Are you guys ready to see the final look? In three, two, one. Oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> I look so different. <laughs> I mean, I think it's really, really fun and it's shocking. I don't often get shocked by new hair colors myself because I've had everything, but this today is shocking. I still love it. I hope you guys like the change too. I feel like I'm expressing exactly who I am right at this moment in my life with this new hair color, which is exactly what I want X Mondo Color to represent. You being the most true version of yourself and expressing it through your hair. Being exactly what you wanna be and not giving a what people think about it. If you've never tried colors in your hair, definitely try it at least once in your life. If you don't like it, it fades away. It is so much fun. So guys, you can officially shop X Mondo Color linked below. Have fun with it, guys. Experiment. Tag me and X Mondo Color in your photos. I would love to see what you guys get up to with my hair color. Woo! Thanks guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed right down below. Press the bell icon to be notified every time I post a video and press the like button if you enjoyed this video today. You can also text me at this number right here. Yes, it is really my number. Yes, I really see all your texts. And yes, I'll be answering a few of you guys after this video. Make sure you guys follow X Mondo Color and X Mondo Hair on Instagram. These are the handles and also the websites are linked below. Follow me everywhere else. Here I am. You never know when I'm gonna change my hair color again. So keep up to date, baby girl. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Kaylee. She says, hey, from Scotland, getting sober with my hair. I'm 23 and have been getting blonde highlights since I was around 14 or 15. Because of work, I can't get a crazy color, but I was thinking maybe something darker. Also, I'm bored having straight hair. Um, do you recommend any styling for my face shape? I've tried your home salon blowout and loved it. Yay, I'm so happy about that. I think if you've never had brown hair, I'd say 100% go for it. Maybe something like this would look really chic on you. The other thing I'd recommend is cutting your hair shorter. I think collarbone would look stunning. I hope you end up doing it. Let me know. I would love to see how it looks. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.